So we start up the path. Um, again, uh, you've seen these uh, images before, but now you'll see the whole thing. Um, we come up and we duck under what's the Union Square eastbound track. Um, you see the call boxes, you see the lights. Um, and then once we come out underneath here, you're still ascending up. It's about a 4.7% grade uh, or so uh, going up uh, the path. You see we have curve fence up against the green line, straight fence on the uh, uh, other side. Um, that's a sign in the opposite direction saying slow grade. And uh, right here is a burnt egress gate. This is our access out of the corridor in the event of an emergency. To, to get to a public way. So that's path is doing no purposes here. Um, again, we're at, we're at uh, Green Line grade. The viaduct is shared between uh, the piers, uh, between the Green Line and the uh, path. Um, the track now starts to uh, descend down the grade, and then we go through a little sag here. Um, and then uh, we uh, rise back up to uh, get up and over the green line. You can see we're not going back up grade. This isn't just like a 3% grade, it's a bit less. Um, again, some signage because uh, it's a fairly sharp curve going around this curve, so we've got some signage and some. Way back further when you oh, first right. left uh, across. That's okay. <clears throat> So this is the set out on, so again, I'm going north. This is on the right side. We'll go up, uh, we'll cross over, then there's one the other to the uh, west side of the alignment. Uh, again, a fairly sharp curve, so uh, caution. And slow signs on the path. And immediately when you get across this, uh, there's the other set out side on the other side of it. This is about a third, two thirds of the way down the path now. Okay, signage for the uh, curve going the other direction. Um, again, we're coming down down to grade, and we're very shortly going to be off the viaduct. Um, this is Washington Street interlocking over on this side. Um, this is access for the city to get uh, maintenance uh, vehicles or snow equipment, etc. Again, this is a little wider spot. They like say. Some benches and uh, okay, so we missed um, <clears throat> pretty narrow down through here, but, but again, taking that fence out gave us a little extra room between us and the building, actually helped with widening out just a hair. But uh, up, up here it gets very narrow. What is that building? <clears throat> Our ground structure is meant to stay there. Again, here's where we remove that uh, wall that was in here and just open this up quite nicely. We're underneath Cross Street. I see a call box right there at uh, Cross Street. This is coming up to the uh, uh, split where I can go either direction. Now we're either up to the graph or back to Cross Street.
fairly wide underneath the, the graph. And then on the other side, um, this is where that ramp was to go up to Cross Street, and now it's just a single wall coming down. Like I say, it does not preclude something being done in the future. It then widens out. This is the widest part of the path we have on the whole project, is coming up the Walnut Street. Really nice and wide. You can see uh, uh, the bollards, the bollard treatments. You can see the road crossing, the road crossing treatments. Go ahead. Okay. And then it's nice and wide, and as we come up to uh, Bedford Street, it narrows right down. Stop a second time. You can see, as I said, there's this little wider bump out as you come out, so it gives you some room and space outside of the graph. But Graph underneath the graph itself needs to be equal wide here. Under Bedford. Oh, the underlying is that. Okay, and we come out uh, from underneath Bedford Street, rise up to Gilman Station, walk our bikes around the head house. <laughs> <laughs> So there's the bike shed. This is the traction power substation. Put your speed up on the Coming up to School Street. Again, once we get across School Street, we've got a very narrow section again for about three or 400 feet. Again, the treatments for the uh, roadway. Um, and once we get by that, oh, there's the exit off the, uh, uh, that's the emergency exit off of the Gilman Street Station onto the path. Then it winds out in its nice wide the rest of the way. Um, again, some seating and bench areas, call boxes at, at all those locations. Again, the baller treatment, the road crossing treatment as we come up to uh, Central Street. Continue down. Uh, and crossing treatments. You can see the uh, guardrail we show in here. Um, there's a nice uh, connection down at the end of this to get off the path and you get up through the park. You know, right down in this area. And again, the use of bollards and other things because of the closeness to the path. And then we come down towards the DNA, and this gets very narrow. We show some jogging of the fences here is options of how to find a wider path through there, but uh, right now it's a very narrow path through there. And we come up, uh, and uh, as we did the other picture, and tie into uh, the existing path that's being constructed as we speak. 